A former Houston police officer accused of murder. Another former officer accused of tampering with a government document. Gerald Goins and Stephen Bryant are charged in connection with the botched raid on Harding Street that left Dennis Tuttle and Regina Nicholas dead. Harris County District Attorney Kim Ogg says the evidence shows police never should have entered that home. Tonight she's sitting down with investigator Mario Diaz revealing what she knows about the no-knock warrant that Goins got a judge to sign. Here's Mario with the Channel 2 Investigates exclusive. 11844, we're going to be at 7815 Harding. 7815 Harding. We didn't need to lie. We could have done this right. We have multiple officers shot. Multiple officers shot. When somebody lies to obtain a search warrant, that's a problem. We have a house around, we got units in the back, we still got officers inside. You don't get to lie on a to the court. I stand by that. We had probable cause to be there. Our government should not have intervened in that home. And two people are dead as a result. Yes, I believe that the victim's families are owed justice. Harris County District Attorney Kim Ogg on the record in the deadly Harding Street raid scandal, saying her office will pursue justice for Dennis Tuttle and Regina Nicholas and what she calls an unprecedented search for the truth. I've not seen a case like this in my 30 plus years of practicing law. That was Ogg last Friday, just after announcing criminal charges against the narcotics officer at the heart of the raid. Today we charge Gerald Goins with two counts of felony murder. Felony murder charges against a now retired Houston Police Department narcotics officer. A move you don't see often. Well, it's actually very rare. Phil Stenson is a former police officer and currently a criminologist with the Police Integrity Research Group at Bowling Green State University in Ohio. The fact of the matter is the police generally are the good guys and we don't like to think of police officers as being criminals. According to data from Stinson's group, since 2005, 107 police officers have been arrested for murder or manslaughter in a case where the officer shot and killed someone. But the Harding Street case stands out even more so since Gerald Goins did not fire the deadly shots. Members of Goins' own squad shot and killed Regina Nicholas, Dennis Tuttle, and their dog. This puts Goins in very small company. Only a handful of officers have faced similar charges, according to Stinson. And out of the 107 cases total since 2005, only four officers have been convicted. These are not easy cases for prosecutors to obtain convictions, uh, but it's more likely that a conviction would be obtained given the nature of the charge um, uh, in this case. Harris County prosecutors continue to build their case with the key question of motive still unclear. This said, Chief Art Acevedo will not back down from his assertion that officers had a right to enter the Harding Street home. This is what he said in February. It's really important for the community to realize we still had a reason to be at that home. We should not draw final conclusions, as disturbing as it is, until we uncover every single investigative lead. Chief, you indicated you had reason to be at that home. There appears to be no reason listed in this affidavit. But to remember, that affidavit is but one piece of a very comprehensive investigation. We asked him again last Friday, hours after the murder charges were filed. I stand by that. We had probable cause to be there. I will tell you at this time, the probable cause that was used to obtain the search warrant was false. Should they have been in the home? Not based on the warrant they had. But just minutes after making his position on probable cause quite clear, the chief also acknowledged dishonesty to the court will ruin a case. You just don't get to lie to the court. You don't get to lie in court documents. It throws everything out. They had a warrant that was based on false information. And so the forced entry into that home was based on a lie. District Attorney Kim Ogg tells me she expects a jury trials for Gerald Goings and Stephen Bryant, the other former HPD officer charged with felony tampering of a government document. Ogg says she cannot imagine her office making a plea offer that either Goings or Bryant will take. Dominique, Dominique and Keith here. Ogg also adds HPD has worked very hard to investigate 
its own officers. Mm. Uh, Mar, still so many major questions that need to mm -hmm. be answered. What's the next step in this case? From the state perspective, the DA's office, they plan to go to the grand jury next with regards to facts on this case. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget the Department of Justice has its own investigation mm -hmm. that's ongoing as well. Federal testimony from has been already provided to a grand jury in that case that got underway just last month. A lot of layers. Mario, All thank right. you very much.